It's going. I hope. Anyway, um, hello. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. So, I just thought I would do, um, like an update sort of thing. <clears throat> it may seem a little strange, my get up, but, um, today I was out for, uh, hiking for six hours looking for antler sheds and I didn't find jack squat, which like totally sucks. Um, <clears throat> I have to get rid of my face. It's so weird. You look at yourself. <clears throat> anyway, we must all be vain at heart, I think. I mean, of course, that's true. But anyway, um, yeah, so I was out hiking for six hours. And um, I mean, it was beautiful. It was awesome. Um, all through Crab Orchard Wildlife Refuge here in lovely southern Illinois. <clears throat> um... But I didn't find anything, and, but I've already found one shed antler from a whitetail um, this season, and then I found one that was, like, really old and kind of chewed up, and I'll, you know, make something out of that later on, like a bottle opener or something, but anyway, um, the reason I still have all this on, uh, like, my totally old school awesome camo coveralls, and this totally old school awesome camo hoodie, and this totally awesome camo hat, all of which came from a thrift store, uh, is because um, it's pretty cold in my house, my little cabin. Uh, and my electric bill last month was <clears throat> $200, which is like... A decent chunk of my paycheck. So anyway, I turned, um, I turned everything down. So it tends to remain chilly in the house, even or in this room, because I do have the heat on in the living room, <clears throat> and I don't need it in the bedroom because I've got both both dogs in the bed with me plus many blankets. Um, but it's always pretty cold in here. Uh, <clears throat> so, I just leave my coveralls on, um, when I get home, because then I'm just sitting in here writing and, and shit like that. Um, you know, Facebooking and emailing and all that other stuff. Uh, but let's see, do I have anything important to say? Um, oh, I got published which is pretty cool. I mean, it's not a... <clears throat> it's not a print publication. But, uh, my good friend Travis Masati, um, who is an up-and-coming wonderful poet, uh, has been published there, and I really respect him. He's been, <clears throat> pardon me, published in many print, print publications, um, and so, anyway, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm excited about it. It's not fiction. It's a creative nonfiction essay about tobacco, of all things. Just imagine. Um, TheSmokingPoet.net. And I think that's going to come out, um, shoot, in a few weeks, which is kind of exciting. The spring issue, March 2010. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot that's new, but not really, I don't know. <clears throat> when there's so much stuff going on that you can't really think of what to talk about, I think that's a good thing. So anyway, um, I don't know. I was just making a video cause I was bored, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I already wrote today, and the six-hour hike, you know, kind of was a lot of work. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, it's cold, even though spring, I think, has sprung. Um, so hopefully I won't be 
wearing this uh, <clears throat> get up in my house for very much longer. It makes going uh, to take a pee very difficult. Um, so you really got to like save it up so you get a good one, you know, because you've got the coveralls, the sweatshirt, the overalls. Anyway, I'm all bundled up and seeing through the tail end of winter here, thank God, and um, I don't know, wish me luck for more, uh, for finding more antler sheds, and um, that's it, bye.